Members have asked, how many individuals are we expecting to qualify for the pass? This pass is meant for talent that is comparable to the top 5% of our EP holders, which means that the salary criterion is based on the 95th percentile of EP wages. To give a sense of the numbers, 5% today of our EP holders would be around 8,000. But the focus is really not on the numbers because our focus is on quality rather than quantity. Mr Fami, Mr Singh and Ms He have also asked whether we will be setting a quota on the number of ONE pass holders. We are not setting a quota. And the reason is this. If we accept that there is never enough of top talent to go round the world, then it does not make sense for us to limit the amount of talent we are bringing in. If we impose a quota, we are essentially putting a hard limit on how strongly we can compete at the high end of the global economy. This ultimately hurts Singaporeans, who will then have fewer opportunities. This is the same reason why we do not impose a quota for EPs, but focus instead on setting a high-quality bar. Given that the ONE pass has an even higher quality bar than, the EP, than an EP, it would not be wise for us to apply a quota here. However, members would know that we are talking about the top of the pyramid of talent. Given the highly selective nature of the scheme, there is no risk of a deluge of people coming in through the ONE pass. There are naturally questions on how the pass would benefit Singaporeans and what the expected impact on local employment is going to be. Mr Liang ying -Hua, Mr Ang wei -Nen have asked this. Associate Professor James Lim have also asked how meaningful contributions and the success of the ONE pass will be measured. As I mentioned earlier, we will engage all pass holders. This will allow us to better gauge if they have been contributing in meaningful ways. Even so, the relationship between talent, innovation and economic growth is more than a simple linear one. The contributions of talented individuals go beyond, goes beyond a set of key performance indices or KPIs. Limiting and reducing it to that risks constraining us to a yardstick or to a measurement and missing the forest for the trees. Some pass holders may be employees, making it possible to bring a new business unit to Singapore or grow a new line of business. Others may set up companies of their own, generating employment as well as supporting their network of business partners who can also provide good jobs. Yet, others may be here to teach, to advise or consult for local enterprises sharing their expertise with Singapore, Singaporean business owners and professionals. Like any portfolio, the contribution of each pass holder can vary. Indeed, not all may succeed in the first instance, because such is the, risk, uh, is the nature of risk-taking. What matters is the sum of parts and how well the, the whole and the entire portfolio performs. We are building a rich, network of markets, people and ideas that over time will show up in the dynamism of our economy. And if at the macro level, local job creation remains strong, unemployment low, real income growth sustained, and if amongst our people there's always a sense of hope and, op and of opportunities, then I think we would have succeeded.